it. So I'm using the T Energy. The T180, the 100 watt touchscreen. I got 33 batteries on here. On my bus bar I made, as you can see. 33 cells on there. <clears throat> so right now I see the voltages. Is So, how to check a bad one on here with all these on here? I usually go down the line and I just check each single one. Just put the voltmeter on each cell, check each cell by itself. So, out of this whole pack, I got like three, three or four that's bad. So, that's from me going down, checking each other, one of them all by themselves. This battery been on here since Wednesday. Uh, dang, what day was the Wednesday? It was 16, the 14th. So it's September 14th, 2022. So I was actually at 816. So the battery been sitting on there. This will be the third day. So out of those four cells that I have on here, they haven't been charging. So they went up from 700. So now they like 730 something and 740. So that's been the highest they done went. So now they're not, you know, cycling anymore. So I'm gonna leave them on there. We're gonna leave this battery on here for one whole week to get it to stay charged before I actually put it back. Well, I'm actually building a battery, so I'm gonna actually take this battery here. So I'm gonna actually be taking this battery here apart because this battery is bad. So every time it's in a, when it's in a car, it's jumping from 30 volts all the way up to 80 some volts when you stop you get the triangle of death and all that stuff but it's still capable of driving as long as you got the little scanner to clear the code so if you clear the code you can drive pretty much all day long the code is going to come on but when you start it back up in the morning it'll be at 30 percent then you know sometimes the code won't come on sometimes it will but it's starting to make it where the car you can tell it just by how you drive the car that you know the battery is is shot so all those cells in there um i'm gonna try to recondition them all at once see what happens if not i might just get rid of all those cells so that's the reason why i got all these cells so i got plenty of more cells so those cells i'm gonna try to recondition um i got <clears throat> these cells right here got to go to recycle as you can see they only reading at one or zero volts all these right here got to go to recycle they reading at zero or one that one up there is at a five but ain't no good but i got a whole box another box so i'm gonna see where i met with those <clears throat> and go from there but let's not get off the subject so back to this so yeah i'm gonna leave this battery on here for a week i'm gonna give you guys an update on how this has been acting so i want to show you guys my settings let's see if i can get this to jump back so you can see how i got it set on there so it's acting funny there you go. All right, so that's my settings. So you got the capacity at 6,500, current amp, five amps. So discharge is at six volts. So it's currently what I'm running everything at. But usually when I run all these, 
a discharge, it takes a while. So the best thing probably to do is find you something that can actually drain it down more. So I'll hook up a fan that I have. I'll plug a fan up to it. I just hook it up to the rails here. Just run a wires to the rails. Let the fan stay on. It'll discharge them down. And then I just charge them back up with that. So I usually take at least three, four days to get the battery cycled and then back up, cycle back up. So now this right here is pretty much the last cycle. I'm gonna let it balance. So what I'm gonna do is at 816, I'm gonna recharge it <clears throat> until I get it up to, trying to get it up to at least like 850 volts. And then from there, it's going to sit all the way until next Thursday, and then I'll give you guys an update on how it turned out. So right now, let's I'll show you how I get it to come on. So from here, just hit the down button. So you can see I got it on charge, discharge, delay timer 20 cycles. I got it on one as of now. You can always just change this to wherever you want, how many times you want it to cycle. So I got mine on one because I stop it every time. So from here, just hold the enter and then just click start and start charging them. So it's charging them at a slow rate. So you don't have to worry about the batteries overheating or anything. I know a lot of people say you can't charge as many batteries with that um, charger, but this is pretty much what I've been doing. So. As you can see, I got the positive over here, negative over here. It's all running off this. So, as you can see, it's working. So, I'll be back out to check this in maybe an hour or so. See where it's at. So, I'm trying to, that's my goal is to get them all up to 850. And then I'm going to let it sit all the way to next um, Thursday. Pick out the bad ones, take them out, build a whole new pack, then I'll be throwing it into the car. So, give you guys an update.